Recently, I was on a forum board that was for technical support, and uh, I was having problems with Internet Explorer 8, and they decided to tell me that I was going to be able to fix it by resetting it to factory uh, default, and after I did that, it kind of messed up the um, search providers uh, that I'll show you a picture right here in the middle of the screen. That's where what I'm talking about when I refer to search providers is uh, where you type in a, something you're searching for and hit enter. Well, they had kind of messed it up by doing that because it got rid of my uh, setting that I had, which was Google, and um, it put it to Bing, and then and they kind of have messed it up because when I try to go find more search providers by clicking on the right of that uh, picture in the middle that you can see there where it's, and then you would scroll down to find more search providers it took me to a page first of all it took me to a page for Internet Explorer 9 so I searched for Google found it tried to add it it didn't work so then I did some googling and tried to find it for Internet Explorer 8 well I found it but when I clicked it there was no reaction just like with the Internet Explorer 9 so I don't know if Microsoft has um, intentionally done this because they plan to stop supporting uh, Internet Explorer 8 sooner or something, I don't know. Um, so I found a way to fix it and it's simply pretty simple and all the information uh, about that is talked about in this video will be in the video description. So as you can see here, I have the registry editor open, and all I did is um, go to uh, uh, H key current user software Microsoft Internet Explorer search scopes, and then you see a list a string of numbers here, and then uh, for each search provider you've used. Now it's pretty simple uh, to add it back manually. You just need to know the suggestions URL, um, and that pretty much does it. And also here, you would change it to uh, Google.com. Um, so basically, let's use this one as an example. Uh, actually, we should use this one. Um, this is Bing. So they have um, the URL here. It's the same as the Google one here. except it's a little bit longer uh, but all I did was um, take this and change it to uh, take the string go to the beginning and change the part up to dot uh, com forward slash I change it to HTTP forward slash forward slash triple w dot google dot com and I clicked OK now, if you're missing the um, uh, this string, that I'll put in the uh, uh, video description as well if I can. I don't know if it'll work because it has some uh, characters that YouTube may disallow. And as far as the fave icon, path, and URL, it's pretty simple. Again, you just type HTTP uh, forward slash uh, forward slash triple w dot google dot com and then fave icon dot ico ico is short for icon and then the uh, fave icon path I'll put that in the video description as well and uh, it's pretty simple you just have to direct it to the picture of the icon that is stored on your computer now if you're missing that icon you can download it from the internet uh, it's the 16 by 16 16 width and 16 height icon and if you type uh, Google fave icon or Bing fave icon or any of the uh, search providers you use I fave icon it'll probably come up in the image results or there'll be uh, somewhere where you can save it from and put it into the folder So the next thing uh, you do is basically find the icon like here and 16 by 16 is the dimensions and you just place it in here and uh, if it's already in here you just go like this and copy the name 
and then paste it to the end of this path here. Now, after that, you should have no problem uh, with the search provider. In Internet Explorer 9, they have uh, put the search bar and address bar into one. So if I type in something to search for, like, we'll say dog, whatever, and it'll look for uh, the search, or like, it'll search for the word dog, and there you go, you got the results right there. So this video comes in handy uh, if you ever mess up the search providers by following someone's instructions that cause the search providers to go missing. It's fairly simple to do. Um, I don't think you could really mess it up. Even if you did something in the registry in the search scopes area, it would probably not mess it up. It might in, uh, make the search inoperable but I don't think it would uh, have any drastic effect on your computer. So all of the information will be in the video description. If I can't put that string in the video description, I will put it in an annotation or something and see if that works. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.